coming to you from our GIS studios. I am Anicia Antoine and this is your midday news brief. A delegation of 20 school officials from the French Isles has visited St. Lucia to officially sign a memorandum of understanding for the twinning of schools in St. Lucia and those of the French dependencies in the Eastern Caribbean. The objective of the twinning agreement is to formalize and improve the already existing exchanges between schools in St. Lucia and the French Isles. Johanna Sultan, Consul General for Martinique, Guadeloupe and French Guyana, noted that a point person has been chosen to liaise with the countries. The Prime Minister of St. Lucia, Honorable Alan Chastney, highlighted that due to close proximity, many opportunities will arise for both Martinique and St. Lucian students via the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding. The Ministry of Education, Innovation, Gender Relations and Sustainable Development has been alerted to further suspected cases of poor air quality and mold infestation at schools in the Castries Basin following comprehensive remedial works undertaken at the Enchipo Secondary School some three weeks ago. In response to the fresh concerns, the Ministry has undertaken significant work including deep cleaning, mold remediation and pre- and post-air quality testing at the various schools. For instance, the Ministry has entered a second week of assessments and remedial works at the Bocas and Cyrus Siemens Secondary Schools. The Ministry has been working assiduously to address the situation. However, students attending the Bocage, Enchipo and Saira Seaman Secondary Schools were dismissed early on Monday, the 4th of November, due to inadequate teacher supervision. The Chief Education Officer assures that the education of the nation's children remains a top priority for the Ministry and every effort is being made to minimize loss of instructional time. More than 1,000 young persons are to benefit from the Skills for Youth Employment Project, referred to as the SKY Project. SKY is a four-year program funded by the UK government to the value of 9.1 million euro. It is designed to promote economic growth and sustainable development in St. Lucia and the OECS, States of Dominica, St. Vincent and the Grenadines and Grenada. The National Enrichment and Learning Unit, NELU, is now conducting workshops and orientation for successful candidates. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.